Hi, welcome back to Move365. Remember, click the bio, take the link to YouTube for the full length video. Uh, today I want to give you a little bit more help in grooving this hip hinging movement pattern that we've been working with. Um, stand facing a door or a wall, uh, fingertips about a centimetre away from the, the, the wall. And as you begin your squat movement, sending the hips back, keeping your knees over the top of your ankle joints. Without stretched arms, you should not touch the wall. If you touch the wall, it probably means that you're bending your knees forward of your ankle joints and not really extending, sorry, flexing into the hips uh, and extending your lower back away. So, Use the arms outstretched and the fingertips as a guide to determine whether you're sending the hips back, putting the weight into your heels, keeping your lower back extended as low as you can, making sure that you keep this lower back nice and hollow. Don't let the butt wink, tucking under of the sacrum creep in. So down as low as you can, You'll feel the work through your hips, in your quads, and then back up again. It doesn't really matter whether you go very, very deep into that or whether you just use it as a tool to just train this pattern of movement, this hip hinging pattern of movement that's so crucial to protect your back when you bend to lift, push, pull, sit, stand. Click the thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Please share with your friends. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we're here every day bringing you better health through good movement.